We're here in Basel, Basel World 2011 with a man, the myth, the legend, a true pioneer and icon of the watchmaking world, Jean-Claude Biver from uh, Hublot. Uh, we have the privilege of having a few moments with him, which is uh, hard to do because he's one of the most demanded figures here. Um, and we wanted to discuss a watch that, I mean, we were just blown away when we saw it. Uh, this is the new Hublot Key of Time. Tell us a little bit about his concept, how, how he created this watch, and, and just his concept and his vision for Hublot in the future. Yes, it's, uh, it's the watch we all need and we all hope to, to have. Why? Because it's the first watch that will adapt time to you. You know, a watch is something very uh, terrible because it gives you exactly the time it is. You see, it's 1446. So, that's not my time, 1446. Somebody has decided for me that it's 1446, and if I know that I have an appointment at 15, I know 14 minutes are left. That's terrible. That's a prisoner. That's my master. I want to be master of myself. I want to dictate what time it is, and not my watch. So, many people hate their watch because it dictates them the time it is. So we decided, how can people love their watch? Right. And one of the ways to love the watch is when the watch adapts to you, yeah. and not you to the watch. And how will my watch adapt to me? I will tell my watch what speed, in how much speed one hour should go. So if I'm with my wife, my children, I want one hour, you know, to be like if it would be only 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> be careful, they when, might watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm in a boring meeting at the tax office, <laughs> I want one hour to disappear very quickly and to be like only 20 minutes. So I can, <laughs> time can be fast, time can be slow. And the watch, <laughs> I have uh, a possibility to regulate it to fast or slow. And depending how I fix it, I will have very high accuracy because there's a tourbillon. Which is amazing. I mean, amazing. Uh, so in a, <laughs> a chronometer, high chronometer precision certification, I can have time fly. Or can I have time stop? It all depends how I regulate. So I have a regulator here that shows that where I can say, okay, put me 20 minutes like being one hour, or put me one hour like being only 20 minutes. Now, master of for, your own time. Yes, master of your own time. If for any reason, at a certain moment, I need to know what Apple iPhone time I have. I can push here and the hands are going back and tell me exactly what I mean. Which means, which means we have in this watch two major technical innovations. We have the invention of the clutch and the gear. Right. Like a car. First gear or second gear. So the first gear makes the engine turn on another uh, uh, much faster than on the fifth gear, for instance. And the same. So uh, by pushing here, is like a clutch, boom, and we change gear. And at any moment, I can go back to real time. And so, the watch is a philosophical watch. The watch is a, it's the first time we enter in the art. The art of making watches is for the first time no more rational. It is, you know, art is not rational somehow. And uh, art, a painting, painting should not look like a picture. But all our watches look like pictures. They give you exactly the same time than your Apple. So for the first time, we are out of the rationality. We enter the irrational world, the world of dreams, the world of emotions. And we have, of course, also rational if we want the right time. And so it's a quite uh, an interesting innovation. And you know what? We thought we were going to make 30 pieces, limited. Yeah. And it's a one-time shot. We saw 30 pieces after two days. So now we decided that we will increase the production 
and we will make 50 pieces instead of 30. So basically, I mean, you're thinking out of the box, which is what you're known for. And you're saying, rather than time controlling me, I'm controlling time. Yes. And you know, we must think out of the box. Because if you think in the box, you think like everybody. Exactly. And how do you want me to look like everybody? How do you want my product to be like everybody? My product must be constantly unique, different, and the first. We, whatever we do, we need to be the first, unique, and different. We need to be the first, unique, and different. And that's all we, what, we are, what we are about. We don't want to repeat. And we want always to be the first. And that is a kind of obsession. And number two, we master 450 years of tradition. We understand 450 years of tradition. We know 450 years of tradition. And we will never repeat this tradition. We will take this tradition and we'll connect the tradition to the future. And when you connect the tradition to the future, you don't repeat tradition. You, you make a new tradition. And that is what we are doing. That's all about Hublot. Hublot connects the past to the future. Hublot connects tradition to the future. We are not a museum. We don't repeat. Museum, we have. We have a lot of museums, and we have a lot of brands where you can buy the past. With Hublot, you buy the mastering of the past and the future. We are like, you know, when Gibson invented uh, electronic guitar, they had a fantastic guitar player, Les Paul. And Les Paul in the 30s said to Gibson, Hey, Gibson. Why can we not connect Spanish classical guitar to the future? Gibson said, what? And they said, if we take a Spanish guitar and we try to connect this guitar to the future, to the amplifier, to electronic, let's try. They tried, and they invented new sounds. It was still a guitar. It looked still like a guitar. It had the same way of playing. But because this guitar was connected to electronic, it was, and it made a revolution, it invented new sounds, and those new sounds gave birth to new music. So the, what Gibson and Les Paul did with the guitar, they transformed Spanish guitar into electronic guitar, and they opened a new horizon, a new world. And that's what we do with watches. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, and, and I love that with all your success, you're as passionate about watches as, you know, a 12-year-old is about <laughs> their first day of Little League, yeah. you know? And, and that's, that's, that's absolutely phenomenal. And I, I love it. Thank you. I love Thank it. you. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time, Mr. Viver. Thank you. And we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you.